This essay example, as well as thousands of others, is available in text format on our website for free and without registration. Simply Google Ivy Panda Free Essays. People are the main resource of any company or organization regardless of the sphere in which it works, as they perform all actions needed for its development and rise. For this reason, human resource management acquires the top priority as one of the central tools to ensure the effective functioning of the staff and its commitment. Motivated and loyal people show better results and significantly contribute to further growth and empowerment. For this reason, Successful leaders should focus their efforts on the creation of an environment beneficial for workers' personal and professional development. It will help to make organizations more attractive to individuals and increase the level of their interest. For this reason, the human resource frame becomes one of the major concerns of modern management. The central idea of this conception is that people are the main asset of any company. Regarding the importance of the given perspective, the pivotal aim of the paper is to investigate the frame's applicability to the sphere of education and how leaders can benefit from its use. The Power and Usefulness of Human Resource Frame As has already been stated, the human resource frame cultivates the idea of the outstanding significance of people and their fundamental role in the functioning of organizations. For this reason, they exist to serve human needs rather than the converse. This assumption should be taken as the basis for the further development of organizations as they need people. At the same time, people also need these organizations as they provide them with the services critical for their development, existence, and rise. That is why basic human demands can be satisfied if a particular balance is found. Individuals work to promote the development of various organizations while they create conditions beneficial for workers' personal and professional development. The given idea becomes critical for the sphere of education as it is one of the fundamental institutions of modern society. School as an organization serves people and provides the knowledge needed for their future success. In such a way, it is characterized by the increased attention to learners' needs and demands for the quality of provided services and their relevance. On the other hand, the efficiency of these institutions significantly depends on educators who work in the sphere and teach students. For this reason, the application of the human resource frame becomes critical for educational leaders. They should ensure that employees are provided with the appropriate environment that meets their requirements and satisfies their needs, at the same time, being motivated by this attitude, they will contribute to the development of schools as organizations that consider this model. In such a way, the human resource frame becomes one of the integral parts of the modern educational sphere. It encompasses all elements critical for the development of both organizations and workers. At the same time, it creates the basis for the continuous rise of individual motivation, which is important for the sphere of education and its ability to assist learners in acquiring knowledge and becoming successful specialists in the future. When, why? And how would educational leaders use the human resource frame? Regarding the unique importance of the frame, its use by educational leaders to attain better results is the top priority. First of all, it should be utilized when creating the working atmosphere and organizing the environment beneficial for specialists' professional and personal rise and development. Adhering to the basic principles suggested by the frame, a leader should be informed about the existing needs of employees and follow the basic principle stating that organizations are created for people and should serve to meet their requirements. At the same time, the leader is responsible for the creation of a positive environment, which can be achieved only by considering existing problems and trying to solve them using this very model. In such a way, the human resource frame can be applied to every stage of the organization's development to create an appropriate environment and improve the functioning of the organization by increasing employee satisfaction levels. Strengths and Limitations of the Frame The central advantage of the given frame is its ability to meet people's demands to the organization and improve their motivation to work harder to promote the further evolution of the unit. It can be achieved by adhering to the idea that both people and organizations need each other to grow. 
Another strength is the ability to consider existing problems and prevent their development by altering the environment to avoid crises. These advantages contribute to better mutual understanding within companies and improved cooperation. However, there are several drawbacks to the model. First of all, other spheres can be disregarded because of the shift of priorities to human resources. Additionally, in some cases, high levels of motivation can hardly be achieved because of the peculiarities of individuals. However, the human resource frame remains one of the potent tools that should be utilized by leaders to attain good results and motivate workers. If you want to find more works like this essay on human resource frame in the sphere of education, head over to ivypanda.com. It has a collection of free samples with thousands of submissions covering virtually all academic subjects. No registration required to access it.